This video introduces how to use the Huawei FTTR Fiber Installation Kit to route transparent optical cables. You need to use the following devices and tools. Using Huawei's innovative FTTR Fiber Installation Kit, you can route a transparent optical cable by simply pressing and moving the kit along the cabling path, significantly improving the cabling efficiency. The kit supports both built-in and external power supplies, making it convenient to use. Now let's plan Wi-Fi hotspots and cabling paths based on users' resident layout and network requirements to achieve full Wi-Fi coverage. Before routing an optical cable, clean the dust on the cabling path. Then attach double-sided tape at internal or exposed corners to ensure a proper bending radius during subsequent cabling. Next, terminate one end of the transparent optical cable at the start of the cabling path and insert the connector into a pen-style visual fault locator. In this way, you can monitor the optical conductivity during cabling to properly find out any fiber cuts. 1. Install the battery compartment onto the kit. 2. Install the transparent fiber spool on the fiber spool shaft of the kit. 3. Open the heating head Place the fiber into the guiding slot and push the button to close the heating head. 4. Press and hold the red button for 3 seconds. Wait until the kit heats up and the green indicator turns on. Then you can start the cabling. When routing the transparent optical cable along a baseboard, you are advised to keep the kit perpendicular to the baseboard and move the kit slowly to ensure that the hot melt adhesive on the optical cable fully melts. Expose corner cabling. Slow down at corners to ensure a proper bending radius for the optical cable. Internal corner cabling. Press the optical cable with a finger protected by a heat insulation finger cut to ensure a proper bending radius for the optical cable. Cabling on the ceiling. In the straight section of the ceiling, you can use a telescopic rod to facilitate cabling. At an internal or external corner, stand on a ladder to route the optical cable. Route a cable along a door frame in the same way as routing a cable at an internal or external corner. Cabling in a door seam. Ensure that the cable is close to the ground to prevent fibers from being broken when the door is opened or closed. After the cabling is complete, check the optical attenuation of the optical path to ensure that the optical power at a slave FTTR unit is within the range of minus 8 dBm to minus 23 dBm. To ensure that the optical cable is securely attached, you need to reinforce the optical cable at corners. Use a hot melt adhesive gun to dispense adhesive along the optical cable path and use an adhesive spreader to make the adhesive evenly distributed. At exposed corners, where the optical cable may be scratched, use single-sided waterproof tape for reinforcement. Finally, install the master and slave FTTR units. Check the indicators on slave FTTR units. If the indicators are steady white, the devices are working properly. 